What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the all new Skytrack 5.0 Golf Simulator software to do some on-course play. Now, if you haven't seen our first look video, make sure you check it out. I take you guys through pretty much everything, but I just wanna make sure that I go out and I do some on-course play with you guys to show you what the graphics are like, you know, out there playing, hitting chips and putts and, you know, everything else in between. So we're out here at Quail Hollow. Yes, there are some famous courses out there, Innisbrook Copperhead, Pebble Beach was one that I showed in that first look video. Um, but uh, Quail Hollow, I felt like, you know, really demonstrates undulation and tree lines and there's, you know, some elevation and water and things like that. So I figured, you know what, let's jump out and uh, play Quail Hollow. I think it would be a good first look to show you guys this thing in action. Now, as always, if you're looking to purchase a Skytrack, make sure you check out my links and discount codes as well in the description and pinned to the top of the comments to help support the channel and plus gets you the best price available. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, you guys didn't get to see the drone uh, kind of preview. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fly that up. Now, I've reported a bug. If you notice, it actually changes your, and you can actually zoom in and out and down and up when you're in these. So that's, that's pretty cool that that's available. Um, but you'll notice that you actually have to reset your aim sometimes if this goes through. Now, if I click flyover, um, doesn't seem to do that. So there's this kind of a bug on the drone view, but I wanted to be able to show you guys the graphics, you know, in action doing some, you know, drone and I'll do some green previews and stuff as we get going, but you can see where it has us down there. Um, looks like we'll be able to clear that bunker as long as we get a hold of it. Not going to be swinging out of my shoes by any means. Um, but um, you know, based on my average distance, I think we're going to make it over that bunker. So let's go ahead and get things going and show you guys all of this in action. Not too bad. Wasn't the best strike in the world, but I think it's going to draw just a little bit and it's going to give us a really nice start out of the gate. Rolling down the fairway, 310 yards. I'll take that all day long. All right, so um, let's see here. 230 yards, this is a par five. Um, I'm playing the back nine, by the way. Should have mentioned that in the beginning. Um, that's like a perfect hybrid. If I can you know, manage to squeeze a hybrid down there, I could be right by the green and setting myself up um, quite well on this first hole. So let's see if we can do that. I play a three hybrid. Um, I have a mixed bag. I mean, I have Callaway irons. This is a ping driver. I have a, I'm sorry, ping hybrid. I play a tailor-made driver. Um, very different. That was just a little thin. I could feel the face was a little bit open. Going to give us a greenside bunker shot? I mean, I'm not against that. One thing to point out, so this is kind of perfect, is that there are no penalties. Now, it hasn't been necessarily confirmed yet if penalties are coming. Um, I'm going to try to get that confirmation. I'll share that with you guys. Um, but right now, I'm hitting this for 49 feet. So I can see that it's actually running downhill. This is the nice thing about their grid. So yes, I can zoom up with the green view and everything else, but I can actually just look right here and that grid is an easy identifier that this ball's rolling downhill. So really, I probably only want to chip this thing. I'm going to try to flop it up a little bit and like a 30 foot shot that might roll down by the pin is what I'm thinking. Oh, and I, I, that was just a terrible shot out of the gate. I'm going to show you guys punny. Uh, that was just, ah, uh, man, I got like that. What am I doing? I need mean, you know, that's one thing I don't do is probably warm up chipping. That was a really bad chip where I kind of just kind of thinned it a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys putting right out of the gate. Man, that was my opportunity to uh, be in there for an easy birdie. I'm playing 10-foot gimmies because it speeds the game up, just so you guys know. Five inches uphill. And it's almost breaking both ways. I'm going to play it just like I normally do. So it would be for like 22 feet. How's that? Oh, not, a, not quite enough speed. And it was looked like it was going to sort of break back to the right. Not quite. All right, warm-up hole. 
I'll take my par for a warm-up hole, um, even though I kind of bladed my chip out of the bunker there. Now notice it said could not process shot in valid speed. When you're moving around and it like locks in the ball and unlocks the ball, it will say that. And it's a good thing. It's not going to go shot on you and, you know, shoot a ball off. It's realizing that something's not right. It locked and unlocked on the ball um, and it's resetting. So um, not a bad thing. I've noticed that sometimes. So it's a dog leg to the left. It's 276 down to the corner there. So maybe I can potentially try to hit that draw again and it would work out in our favor. That once again wasn't the best strike in the world. I tried to release the face and that's gonna be in the bunker. There's kind of an edge there. This could be challenging. Yeah, that uh, that spin honestly is a little on the higher end for me. I'm almost usually sub 2000 and it's because I hit it a little low on the face. I was trying to release that face, um, close it down and hit a little bit low. Not bad, 141 yards, you know, Here's what's nice, I should be able to get over that lip, no problem. Make sure you guys check out, you know, bunker edges, the levels of 3D grass, and then cut in and everything. That's that's really why I wanted to do on course play so you guys can see all of that. Man, for where that pin is, I think I'm gonna try to squeeze a pitching wedge in there. I'm gonna aim a little bit right. Maybe I get a little draw out of this. I think I can get a pitching wedge there. Hopefully it draws in. It's going to be short. Well, it was the balance between smoking a nine and going too far. Could have tried to hit a soft nine in there. It's okay. Oh, it's okay until you realize the pin is in a difficult position. So it's a foot uphill. So it's playing like you know, let's call it 46 or 7 feet or so. Um, breaking well to the left. Let's see if how we can hit our lag putt here. I, I mean, I hit that pretty hard. Not bad other than I overread the break. I mean, I'll take that. Notice I'm aiming in the sim, and I should point that out to you guys as we were playing. I'll make sure to you know try to point those things out. Two pars to start off. Um, I'm aiming, and that was pretty heavy to the right. It's picking it up just fine. Um, I like doing that. Can you aim on screen? Sure, we can try that too. I mean, I'm not here to shoot a low score. I'm here to really demonstrate everything you know to you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and you know do some different things along the way, uh, including let's do a flyover of this hole because it's a cool hole. I mean, you've kind of got your tunnel of trees going down. That's the thing about Quail Hollow. Um, it tends to be one of those courses where you really don't want to be spraying driver. You're going to be punching out a lot. Um, based on hitting that little draw that I've been hitting, kind of aim maybe right center of the fairway. It's 39 feet downhill. Kind of opens up a little bit to the left there too, even if I were to yank this a little bit. Wow, look at that. What a view. That is what you don't want to do. Oh, I could get really lucky if I can squeeze a punch out of there. Yeah, I got a little slow with my lower body, it felt like, and I could just feel the club come across. It was high on the face, towards the toe. I mean, it was like all those things you don't want to happen. Um, and it happened. But I have a window, and we get to see some of this, you know, thicker type of weeds down there as well. So it's kind of cool. All right, 174 yards. And then what we'll do is we'll aim over here. I like this. And then try to like punch draw, maybe a, that's 156 to there. Um, 
I'm thinking maybe, I guess I should, I, I could be able to do a seven. Let's, so we're aimed there. So I don't really have to aim any further right. Try to punch this thing down. Close the face. How's that going to work out? Oh, look at this. Hey, it's all about recovering. I, you know, I joke with people all the time. I remember watching Tiger Woods when he was on his best game. And if you look back, he sprayed his driver quite a bit, but he always had these like remarkable, you know, shots out of the woods and everything. And he'd end up making birdie and stuff. I mean, it was just crazy. All right, so playing about 20 feet. Little break. How's that for speed? I think I'm over reading the greens just a little bit. And I'm going to have to get adjusted to this software. Um, but I'm not complaining. I mean, we're, it's a little bit of a par party so far. But that's okay. Check this whole out. I really do like that drone preview. Where it comes on. This is a, a long. I'm playing from the blue tees, not the tips, but this is a long course overall. I think I'm playing 7,000 yards. Excuse me, from the blue tips or the blue uh, blue tees. 207 yards. I feel like it's a five iron though, because if you look, I have a lot of green, and this is kind of cool how you can just. You can do multiple things here. So one, I can aim here. And I like how it shows how far I am if I land the ball at 186 or 190. And then I can go up and look at the green if I want. And then what this allows me to do is, is put the grid on. And I can see it is uphill. It is uphill. So I still think that if I land the ball, you know, 195 or so, it's going to roll up 10 feet or 15 feet, and I should have a 10-foot you know, putter. So that's, that's what I'm going for. I could hit a 4-iron. I think that would be too much. And I didn't catch all the 5. Let's hope it gets there. Nope, not today. No, nope, caught it a little heavy. Penalized me appropriately. That's what I like, uh, the turf that I do use. I mean, if you hit it a little little heavy, um, you're you're going to get penalized. And I think that that's nice. I guess it has, you know, uh, forgiveness to it, but also grabs the club. 24 yards, not feet, uphill 7 feet. All right, let's see if we can actually make a proper chip this time and not get all wristy and weird with it. go in. All right. The short game saved us. That was nice. I thought I had a chance only four feet from the pin. So we haven't really been utilizing the 10 foot gimmies that much, but they're there to kind of help speed it up if needed. You know, it's nice. Oh, this is a, a 316 yard par four. I haven't played this course in a long time and you guys can look back. I think I have this in like streams and stuff with other software. If you want to compare but check this out. I'm going to kind of aim safe down here to the right. Not swing out of my shoes. And think that we're going to be greenside on this sucker. I don't know if I want to hit a little draw, though, because that could be risky. What happened last time. Definitely not going to try to yank this thing. Oh, my gosh. I totally just missed that ball gonna work out but I mean I just missed it it was a great miss <laughs> but just I tried to hit this little cut and uh, it was really bad I mean really bad hey I'll take a good miss 46 yards five feet downhill you guys get to see a little green action and what it looks like Oh, 
man. I, I just left that a little short. I should have used my green preview. I didn't want to take too much time. And uh, I got weak on it. That should have been an easy birdie opportunity. Five inches downhill. I'm not going to play this quite as much break. I think I was overplaying the break a little bit. Five inches downhill. And we did it. And we did it. Now notice the ball on the screen didn't really drop in the cup. That's another thing that I reported to them that I do think needs to be fixed. Um, I'd like to have the sound of the ball going in the cup. I'd like to see the ball go in the cup. So as great as the graphics and everything are, there's some fine tuning, in my opinion, that needs to be done. And, you know, I've shared that with them. So um, 277 yards down there. Yeah, you don't want to, I mean, you can blow it this way and have 150, you know, eight yards or so. Um, you have to open this up really to see. Isn't that nice how you can open it up, though? So that's 183 yards, and that's 150 yards. Yeah, I think that, I wonder if it's out of bounds in real life to hit over to that hole. Because that's, I mean, that's the play. I mean, why would, why would you not be hitting it? Look at 180, 190, or 160. You guys tell me. I mean, if it doesn't, if it doesn't say OB, then that's my play. And there's courses that say it's OB to hit in other fairways, and then there are courses that it's not OB. For instance, at Warwick Hills, it's not OB to be in another fairway. VJ Singh, on number one, used to bomb it down 10's fairway and go into the green that way. I don't know if he does, I don't think he does that anymore. That was a, a decent, decent drive. It's drawing a little bit, so it's going away from the green. All right. So what do I have? Oh, man, I didn't really see. That draw kind of set me up. I mean, I didn't gain anything there. If you were to cut that corner more, but this is a pretty good look at it other than that tree. Four feet uphill. Oh. See, I tried to get all crafty cutting the corner. I'm not really helping myself here. You eliminate that creek, though, that I think is over there. I don't feel like I caught all that. It was just a, a little heavy. It's going to work out. Okay. I'll take it. Just a tad. It wasn't, wasn't a, a crisp, clean hit. You can see, look, at I even lost spin on it. But I'll take it. Because now this is a par 5 that we have 20-foot eagle putt. 10 inches downhill, so that this should play for like 10. Oh, let's make sure that's not even on the dot. I'll move it forward to the dot, let it lock back in. Barely breaking left to right. Yeah, I wonder if that was hard enough. Yeah, see, I feel like I need to, if I don't, I'm trying to remember if there's stimp control because I'm leaving things at default. Um, and that probably only rolled about eight or nine feet, but it was uh, definitely slow for these, for this green speed. Um, this rolls at like a 10 and a half, and I feel like <clears throat> I have to add 10, 10 plus percent on the software so far from what I've noticed. What I know is, but we're two under with some pretty poor execution on several shots all right now notice this see the kind of haze out there and saw so there's a little bit of haze on the map i think that's pretty cool 22 feet downhill if i can just hit a decent smooth drive this should set us up decent I 
missed it again. I mean, that's like a low heely. I mean, it's a, it's a really bad miss. Really bad miss. And it's going to work out in our favor. <laughs> a little love from the, the cart path. Oh, just a real, see the the spin? I can just, it was just low. I mean, no ball speed out of it. Just a big miss. 154 yards, 21 feet downhill. Is it a seven or is it an eight? I'm sorry, an eight or a nine? Um, I'm going to go, I think, nine because of the 21 feet downhill. I pushed it. Yep. Yeah. Pushed it. Man, I had myself set up for a good hole with a bad drive. That was must be karma from the bad drive. Alright. Short game it is. 52 feet. This is the one I messed up. This is you can see it going downhill. Probably need to land it, let's say, I don't know, 40 feet or so. That might be too much. Stop. All right. I knew it was past the pin, but at least we got it in. Yeah, it was only four feet from the, the pin. That worked out in our favor. Man, that drive was just terrible uh, on those two holes. Oh, this is a cool hole. This is why I wanted to play the back nine because there's some cool stuff like this. It's a really, uh, really cool course. So it's 193 yards. My aim point's probably here. I am going to play a five iron, so I know I can get it there. I mean, generally, the ball would have a little draw to it. And uh, tell me your guys' opinion on this. I told them to take the T on par threes. And lower it down if they can do that. Thought that'd be cool. 195 yards. Five iron. Maybe a little draw if I can. <sighs> Hopefully I didn't overdraw it. Oh, it's not. Almost not drawn enough. Felt like I had yeah, drawing, but man, I smoked that thing. I mean, I hit it pretty well. Um, Damn, that was too much. I think that the, the downhill got me. Now I just I didn't give it enough credit. Hey, got it over the water. It's something I would do in real life. Take too much club. Isn't that a saying? Always take more club. Twenty-two yards. Trying to play a little up and stop. Oh. Man, that had that's two looks on some short game, including one blade on the first hole. <laughs> All right, here's the opportunity on number 18. This is the one with the creek that goes all the way along. Man, I've watched some players on the tour just go from just unbelievable to you know disaster here. You, you know, you can end up in the trees, which you don't want to do. Um, you can end up in that creek and, you know, you don't want to do that, obviously. We're going to try to hit a nice smooth drive right to the end of those trees up there would be my hopes. See if we can do it. Wish I could just stand up here and say, yeah, I'm going to hit a little cut. But unfortunately, the driver right now, it's a little wishy-washy as you've seen. What did I do? What did I do? Get it up there. Oh! Man. I mean, I tried to steer it down there. And, you know, you try to steer a drive and... Oh my gosh, I got lucky. I got lucky. Alright, now notice... It's interesting to see some of the plants that are like in the water and in the grass and everything. I feel like that's probably some detail that, you know, could be adjusted. I mean, it's not bad. You see plants like that 
you know, grown through, but it looks just a little unnatural to me. It's uphill and it's 179. Personally, in this case, I'm probably playing a six iron. Man, I just haven't played some, had a lot of sim golf lately. I'm playing outside, and it's just funny how different um, it can be transitioning sometimes. Um, I just want to aim center of the green. That's what I would do in real life. <sighs> That's not going to draw as much as I wanted it to. Yeah, well, exactly what I planned on, taking too much club and getting there, but whatever. Whatever. Safe. I'm safe. And now a little chip again, 39 feet. So maybe play it for 30. It's going to go a little left. Yikes. Yikes. Don't feel like that. Let's hit that one more time. I don't feel like that went that far left. You guys tell me. I saw it go, go a little left, but let's hit the same shot again. That one, yeah. That was exactly how I hit it, but the last one I felt like was a little over-exaggerated to the left, so it's possible Skytrack Plus, you know, maybe over-corrected uh, on that. I'll have to look at the data at the end, but hey, it's nine holes, Quail Hollow on the new software with Skytrack Plus, and it, I, I feel like it went quite well overall. You guys let me know what you think. Um, you know, I, obviously the graphics come a long way. Um, I feel like the course play is the ball physics and stuff like that. Pretty good overall. Some adjustments, as you can see, need to be done with how the ball goes in the cup. Um, you know, a couple little things like that. But overall, good experience. I mean, I've, I've played more than this uh, as well, just so you guys understand. So, um, you know, I've gone out on Pebble Beach and I've played quite a bit. You saw in that first look video. So I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you comment below if you've been playing. Maybe you're a current SkyTrack user and you've been playing the new software. What are some suggestions you have? Make sure you put those down there so the guys see them. And we'll, of course, keep playing and, you know, continue to share more with you guys, uh, especially any updates that are coming. So stay tuned for that. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more.